Hi, my name is Nathana. I'm an illustrator, a character designer, and a paper artist. Uh, even though uh, I was born in Brazil, so it's my home, uh, I feel I can also call England my second home, especially London, such a beautiful city that I have visited many times and I can't wait to be able to go there again when things get better. Uh, so yeah, I, I feel like England is definitely my second home. Uh, working uh, with art professionally for about five years. Nowadays, uh, most of my work uh, has been done digitally, um, even though for me, um, no software in the world can replace uh, the feeling, the joy of working with real paper, real graphite, real textures. So I miss getting my hands dirty, so to speak. Yeah, there are times that I, I definitely procrastinate, but I, I feel so bad about it that just that it just motivates me to get the work done as soon as possible so that I can have a little bit of an extra time um, afterwards to go over things and double check and see if there are any adjustments still to be done. Um, so I would say that the worst thing about uh, being a procrastinator in my case is that I'm also a perfectionist. Um, definitely a night owl. Um, waking up early is a real challenge. It's like, it's physically painful for me. <laughs> so, if I were to meet my younger self, if I were to meet tiny little me, um, I probably say to her um, that it's perfectly possible to do anything um, she wants to do, that um, she, she needs to always um, pursue her dreams and that uh, being an artist, doing what you love um, and making a career out of it is perfectly possible and um, if that's what you really want never give up and it will all work out in the end I don't have any specific one but I love um, film scores, uh, soundtracks, and there's no singing, so it's perfect for studying or working. Some of my favorites are Howard Shore's soundtracks, especially his music uh, for the Lord of the Rings uh, trilogy. Um, also, there's that very talented Oscar-winning lady. Uh, she composed uh, the Joker soundtrack. Hildur, her name, her first name, Hildur. She's amazing, so it's worth checking out. I think I'd be a panda. Uh, so I could make the most of my cuteness. I'd spend my whole life just eating and being fluffy and, and cute and, and adorable. 
yeah, definitely a panda. Um, I went to law school, so yeah, not a very usual choice for an artist. I'd have to say chocolate. I love chocolate probably way more than I should. For me to recharge, I think it's enough to have um, a good night's sleep um, the day before, the night before. Um, but but I, I really need my eight hours i am a total wreck i am practically a zombie if if i don't sleep properly well there are a lot of people and artists who inspire me who have who have had a, a, a big influence uh, on my work but I think the one um, I appreciate the most the one I it's one of my absolute favorites um, is Mary Blair she was uh, a watercolorist and a visual development artist who worked for Disney uh, for many years she gave that very distinctive wonderful whimsical look to a lot of our beloved animated films so there is one project uh, that I'm currently working on which unfortunately I am not at liberty to, to talk about it but for now all I can say is, uh, is that it's going to be a wonderful initiative uh, for little kids, for, for children um, who are um, in, a, in a particularly complicated situation uh, because of the pandemic so yeah, I think so far in my career, I think this project is the one um, I'm most proud of.